everybody, and welcome to New York, New Rock. I'm Ivy, and we're here at the wonderful, lovely Supper Club on West 47th Street in Manhattan, and we're witnessing uh, the sound check for Freddie Johnston. He's on tour now. He's promoting his critically acclaimed album, This Perfect World. This is really an amazing album just like the best songs and songwriting and we're just really excited to be here. So we're going to get a chance in a few minutes to speak with Freedy for about, I don't know, they're going to give us about 15 minutes. So please stick around for the Freedy Johnston interview. Stay tuned. Hi, we're back and we're live at the Supper Club with Freedy Johnston. He's on tour now and promoting his critically acclaimed album, This Perfect World, fabulous album. Hi, Freedy. Hi, Ivy. How are you? I'm good. So, um, how was your European tour? How was it? It was great. We were there in September for a few weeks. I've been there a couple times. First time I was ever on the road was in Holland. So Any? I know, I know the road there better than I do here, I guess. Any particularly favorite cities in Europe? Well, Amsterdam and Brussels and Antwerp are nice. London is great. Do you prefer uh, Europe to touring? <laughs> Wolfie. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Heidelberg. Heidelberg. I've never been to Heidelberg. I've been to Hamburg. Hamburg. Yeah. It's a beautiful city. Do you prefer uh, Europe to the States touring? Or? Prefer? Oh, no. No, it's the same. Or I, I'm, No, I don't have any preference. Um, any particularly? Oh, no, no, it's <laughs> no preference. We're just getting ready for a show. Or I li no, no, I'm, I like playing, period. It's nice to be over there because I always uh, feel like I'm on vacation, even though I'm not. <laughs> Did you have any particularly good times in any particular city? Uh, no. Uh, well, we went to Milan and uh, had a great time. It was fashion week, so there were 50 million models in town, so that was fun. That sounds like a good time. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, how about your favorite venues here in the States? Favorite venues? Um, Oh, there's a place in San Francisco called the, um, um, uh, what is it called, the Great, uh, the Great American. The Great American. The Great American yeah, what was it? It's like the Great American something. Um, I should know that. That hey, sounds like a fast food restaurant. Hey, Cosmo, what, what's the, uh, hey, Cosmo, what's the Great American called? Anyway. Where's Cosmo? Is, uh, he's, hey, Co Cosmo, what's the Great American called in San Francisco? The Great American. Music Hall. The Great American Music Hall. I love it so much, I don't even know the name. But that, it's, a, it's an export, um, used to be a brothel, I guess, in the, uh, around the turn of the century. It's, it's kind of like this. It, it's a shape like, it's uh, the same shape. There, there are more columns uh, in the interior of the room. But it's a beautiful old... Uh, You've been on tour for off and on for, what, three years now? That's, that's a really long time. Oh, I guess I have. I, um, except to make the last record. Took time off to do that. And where was that up in? Uh, upstairs? Well, uh, yeah, we we worked on it in Woodstock and then in Madison, Wisconsin, and then also in um, um, East Orange or West West Orange, New Jersey, at a studio that um, was where is where Cool and the Gang did all their records. It's really. What studio would that? Be? It's called um, House of Music. It's a great, great old. Uh, well, not old. It's like a, it has a real 70s vibe. It's a great studio. I love that place. Meatloaf actually did a lot of work on his first record there. So, uh, and then we worked in Madison, Wisconsin. Where are you from, Freddy? I'm from Kansas. <laughs> Kansas. Western Kansas, near Dodge City, a town called Kinsley. Do you know Kansas? <laughs> the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> you know? That's what everybody, like... does. That's what everybody says. Yeah. That's great. Now, you just got back from Disney World, right? Disney World. How was Disney World? You just did a concert for VH1, and that's airing. When is that airing? Um, the middle of November, November 19th, I think. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, it was. It was it's good. It was. Uh, it's Disney World. What you do in Disney World? Nothing at all. I stayed in the hotel, and then we went to the gig, and then I went back to the hotel. I. No wild times in Disney World. You didn't like hook up with like Snow White or. Uh... Yeah, Snow White and the dwarfs. No, no, none of that. Um, the, it was it was done on a, a little part of the park called Pleasure Island. It's where they keep all the bars and all the rowdy people. And uh, 
So the music scene going on in Disney World. I never knew about this. There's like the new Star Search there and all this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty crazy. People get really drunk around midnight. You know, after midnight, it's it's Pleasure Island turns into a zoo. So I went back to the hotel. I couldn't take it. But no, Cheryl. Crow, take care of your voice. Oh, yeah, okay. Cheryl Crow played. Oh, I love her. It's great. And um, Hootie and the Blowfish. And so yeah, it was a good time. That's very cool. So um, who do you like hang out with better, the guys or the girls or what? <laughs> you mean after the show or during the show? <laughs> oh well, during the show, after the show, before the show. I don't know. Um, you ask, are, you, are you asking any specific questions? No, I am. <laughs> I was just trying to embarrass you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It happened to me the other the other the other day. I was on uh, I was on uh, a radio station in the area. On the, uh, it's like Dr. Ruth, but it was, it's Dr. Judy. It's a call-in sex show. Oh, and they had me on. You're on a sex show. I don't, you know, I didn't, I didn't have anything to say, but these people were calling in, you know, with all these. What made them think that you were a sexual expert? And, oh, is that how you, oh, that's the bad reputation you have. Do you really have a bad reputation? I just want to know. And how'd you get it? I don't know. I, how bad is it? I got it. I, I got it by, uh. I got it by um, not thinking about it, I guess. Or <laughs> did she want you then, after you told her you had a bad reputation? Did she still want you? Yes. She did. See, girls love that shit. I guess they, they do. do. The, the less obtainable, you know, but guys like that stuff, exactly. too. That's totally true. I, I have a question. You're single. The single is This Perfect World? Yeah. Excellent song. I love, I love, I love all no, your no, songs. No, the Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like both songs. They're great. But I, I had a question about this perfect world. Um, I'll make this brief. Um, the character in this perfect world. What did he? What did he do wrong? I'm so confused. First, I thought there was a suicide. I was like, Yeah. yeah. Well, there was there was a suicide. The, well, it's it's a pretty sad song. But, but it's a perfect world. Well, in the in the in the song, he is singing that. Uh, now that he's made so many mistakes in life, he's realizing that that the world is is not as bad as he thought. It, it's a father coming back to his daughter who he's left years ago, and now that he's very ill, he's coming back to say goodbye. And the the death that's mentioned in the song is the mother who committed suicide. But there's not really enough clues in the song to figure that out. I'm so glad you told me that because would, I would have never figured it out. I was like, what did he do wrong? He kept saying he did something wrong. And well, he left. Oh. Yeah. So that's what happened. Thank you so much for your time, Freddie. We really yeah, appreciate it. Uh, oh, I wish I had more interesting questions. Well, we're here hanging what are you doing later? You want to go hang? Sure. You want to go dance? Get yeah, crazy? I heard that you like to dance. <laughs> I like to dance. Jared knows all about it. Jared gets down big time. He's the man with the bottom. Jared, Hi, Jared. Jared, Jared, come here. Come here, Jared. Come on, because we're almost finished. Come on in. Jared, uh, Jared Nickerson, bass player. And and uh wild man. and wild man are, are you the cause of Freddie's bad reputation i just want to know that uh, hi darling how well, are you I like bask in the in the glow in the glow of the bad reputation <laughs> let me tell you i feel so at home <laughs> it's happening it is it's are you both are glowing i don't know jared's glowing far more than i am he has uh, it's, it's, a, head. it's a fresh cut oh it's a fresh cut give it a little time is this vaseline really or is it brill cream well I forgot which. No. Can I smell it? Can I say that? Can you be risque on this be, thing? This is cable. Because I mean, we can take our clothes off. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Like Robin. Uh, yeah, we were competing with Robin Bird. She's 35. We're 30. Jared, Jared, show us your stomach. Please. Show it. Show us your beautiful bod. Well, it's not like I haven't seen it. He did sleep on my sofa one night. Uh oh. Oh my. Come on. You can't. John, man, come on. You can't tease us. <laughs> Baby, won't you bang my box? Oh, I'm just saying that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Jared, come on, man. Do you know, Jared wears 10 layers, even in the summer, Freedy. Freedy. Are you wearing long johns? He wears long johns, even in like a warm day. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking forward to your here. show tonight. You saw it here on New York, New Rock, Chow 34. Chow, you having fun on tour? It's, it's a wonderful time. It is. It's good, and oh, it's a pretty good time. There are a lot of long drives. Jared, come on, tell the whole story. You know, anytime that there's motion involved, I'm asleep. When we stop, I wake up, and the fun begins. That's the way you have to look at it. <laughs> the fun begins. See, Freddie was really clean. See, John ja, ja tells me all the dirt, basically. <laughs> I heard a
about that skinny dipping episode, except you said you went back to the hotel room. Was uh, I was not there. You did not protect because involved a Oh, that was, oh, was that, that you? Was, yes. Oh, well, you know, you know I had an interview with Freddie, and I said, you know, what should I ask? But of course, I didn't did you be that. rude, so I didn't ask if you Jared said. was the one who was skinny dipping. I was, I was asleep with my pajamas on in the hotel room, you know, with my warm... What kind of pajamas do you wear, Freddie? I just want to know. Are they pajamas? like the little flannel kinds of little teddy bears? Or? No, they're just, <laughs> just normal ones like hospital pajamas, kind no of. No feet on them? <laughs> no, no feet. That... And hurt yourself in the I middle of the night. I had little jammies with feet. No nightlights. <laughs> do you do you know where I could get some of this? I'll buy you a pair. I buy you. next time you come in. We'll I'll find you a pair of jammies. I'd love that. It'll keep you warm in the winter. Oh, you need them. And that'd some be a good. These uh, some of these hotels we stay at, they don't have you know adequate heating. No. Oh no, and the blankets are too thin. You know, Jared, it's it's. Yeah. Most definitely, jammies. Actually, I should get jammies for everybody. I think you should perform in your jammies with feet, yeah. and that would be an original look. That'd be excellent. It would be, yeah. My you could come, all come out, and then you could rip them off. You know. The ideas, eyes, yeah. keep it flowing. You gotta get together here, you've got some great ideas. I think so. I think I think they're really fabulous. Well, Freddie, what? What are you? Oh, that's really nasty. Wait, we didn't see your stomach. Let's see your stomach. You see my stomach. Oh. There it is. Wow, I like that. You can't even compare to that. You win. You win. What's about your front pockets here? What's up? Well, these are protective panels, actually. What are you protecting yourself from? From an attack. Jared, there's no hole in the crotch of these pants. Usually Jared's pants all have holes in the crotch. All of them. It's just amazing. You it's should different. see what Jared does to some of the... Uh, Wait, some of the, you, gotta, you need the microphone. Some of the... Uh, yeah, Jared, let's hear it. <laughs> Ive is actually really bad at this expose type stuff. You know, you shouldn't be exposing, like, you know, the fact that I have holes in the center of this my... This is cable. I can say anything I want to say. Friction. Oh, my God. Girls, did you hear that? Jared, On tour Jared now. Was out, Jared was out with the the. the Girls of America. Is there, some, is there some theory about... What'd you say? Jared was out on the road with the the and Depeche Mode. That's all... I'm gonna That's say. All you need to say. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Freddie Johnston crew is is we're milk toast compared to that. We're, but but is he gonna corrupt you? That's what I want to know. He's trying. I am. It's not working. I'm back in the hotel room. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm reading my little golden book and having some warm milk with my jammies mm -hmm. on. You know. <laughs> I, he's trying though to keep. You didn't to, tell me what your jammies look like. Here. No, they're like yeah. hospital pajamas. Oh, hospital! You did tell me. I'm kind of like that, just like normal pajamas. Yeah, they don't match the normal tops and bottoms. Jammies. I like this jammy discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jared, you know, you know, Freddie's got to like take care of his voice. You know, you can yeah, just get up there, you know, totally burned out and right, just, you know, leave. You giving people back rubs and things like that, <laughs> right? Why are you bringing that up? <laughs> <laughs> now for all of New York to know what a sm <laughs> London was London, and now we're back. And did you have any particular fond memories of Europe, Jared? Any particular cities? I love Dublin, actually. They know how to party in Dublin. That's right. Jared, Common Jared man Dublin up. <laughs> in Dublin. Oh. Ouch. This is cable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and how it's cable at its best. We need to, to get you on to the, the Freedy experience. It's and what is that? <laughs> oh, man. I just, I'm, I'm trying to learn it. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to bask in the glow Freedy of the Freedy very, experience here. Very, uh, you know, calm, kind of loving, giving. Zen. Thing. I like yeah. that. Giving's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So you're very giving. A lot of it's Jared's far more giving than I am. <laughs> I say I have more to give, but I don't want to say You know, that. this is, I just, oh, you're so bad. Oh, I just want you to know this is not Channel J. Excuse me. Well, Jared. And with that. I with that I, Jared, do you, do you still want your gig or not? That's what I want to know. Actually, it's You've been true. causing trouble the whole time. I'm, listening. I'm a troublemaker. You know that. I, I learned from you all those years. <laughs> Freddie, thank you so much. Thanks, Ivy. Thank you for joining see us. You, see you at the show. You yeah, we're definitely gonna hang for the show, okay. and we, we're looking forward to it. Cool. So, you want to say goodbye to our fans Bye, from um, New York, New Rock. See ya. <laughs> Freddie Johnston here. This perfect world. It's a great album, and we love him. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>